you're going to stand down here. Um, and what I'll have them do is put their hands on the floor. This is the kid who can already do a handstand. I squat on the handstand to the other foot. Slowly bring the feet down to the mat. So it's still kind of doing that same thing and then kick over. So, yeah. So it's kind of your, the most important thing is if you watch me spot it, really good, is I'm spotting the hands here. And that way I've got her really well. So if she collapses, like, so bend your arms. I've got her. So she's not going to, she's not going to munch. Because that's what happens is a lot of times the kid goes up, starts to fall, and then they bend their arms. And immediately when they bend their arms, they're not strong enough, and everything goes <laughs> back. That's why, again, why those bridge push-up things are a really good thing to have your kids do. Because then you know they're strong enough to go up and down in that bridge position. Oh, okay. Yes? So I noticed that you have her, your hands on her hips, and then you, when you said that about bending her arms, you had her, your hand on her, like, around her shoulder. Yeah, yeah. So do you... So now you're sort of ending up like this? Like this arm's something? the most important arm. This arm is kind of my guide. And my, okay. For me, when I spot, it's usually the one that's underneath them is doing all the support. Right. And then this is just kind of used to jump in at different spots. But would you, I guess my question is, would you, would you recommend that we get them into a handstand and then switch so that we're holding their shoulder? Uh, no, not necessarily. I would, I, this is what I would recommend to do. I would recommend getting them into a handstand, holding them here. This, to me, is the most important part. Okay. As long as you're here, they're not going to fall. Right. And, but I've also seen coaches go underneath the head here, so I've got her entirely there too. Um, but I, I don't know why I like this, but I go here sometimes. So I just feel like it gives a little extra support. But really, it's all this arm, the one that's underneath them. And if you're not trying to do it with one arm, use both arms. Because really, you're just, in this position, you're kind of just cradling them. When you do these, you do them both ways, so you make sure there's not uh, unnatural buildup of their muscles on one side. Oh, do I spot them on both sides? Sometimes I do. Um, usually, though, I try my best to be all the way around them, so it's free as much. I mean, as far as like using different legs. Oh, you can't go over with. Yeah, I think I think it's good ways. to practice both, but eventually the kid has to pick the dominant side. Yeah. But it is good at the lower levels, especially to play with different legs. The only thing I don't like, and this is kind of off topic, is when a kid kicks up to a handstand. Do this. Um, do this for me. Kick up to a handstand and switch your legs. Come down on the other leg. That. Yeah. But they come down on the other leg. Yep. It's very important that they go up and come down on the same leg. That way they're learning that action. So, because it, it's really hard to fix an old little kid later on. They're like, what? What do you mean I can't do that? <laughs> it's been it forever. Um, but this is how I would do this too. So at your guys' levels, I wouldn't even really go beyond any of these because they don't need to. Um, if they're getting this action, they're getting the back or bridge kick over. And these kind of easier hand center bridges, you're going to be in, they'll be in business to be a level three without a problem, um, because they're really learning how to shift their weight and everything. So, 